controversy is brewing at Cincinnati City Hall to fund more police officers. Should the city cut spending or put less into the reserves? Nine on your side's Brianna Malloy is live at City Hall right now with what council decided, Brianna. Well, Craig, there were a lot of different aspects to this ordinance, and some of those aspects were not that controversial. For example, everyone agreed they want to give CPD more funding to hire more officers. Everyone agreed they want to give ShotSpotter more funding to expand. But for other services, this was not the case. Some were very, very close to the chopping block. For example, giving $550,000 to the Center for Closing the Health Gap. You may remember that nonprofit organization because it was the center of a WCPO I-Team investigation last year. All, all the human service agencies that get money from the city have to compete on an equal basis, and they shouldn't get a separate line item a special treatment, they should be treated the same as every other group. Mayor Cranley wants to cut services and put more money into Cincinnati's rainy day fund. But council member PG Sittenfeld wants to save money at a slower rate so they can fund services too. We were able to address a variety of things that are incredibly important to our constituents while also doing what was clearly fiscally responsible and good for our long-term stability. And Mayor Cranley says he does plan to veto the council's decision. And as of now, it is still unclear whether council will have that six member majority necessary to overturn Cranley's veto next week. Live from City Hall, Brianna Malloy, nine on your side. All right.